Okay, uh, this is the video game stoner. Wow. And Neoprene is here. Hey, link to the past. Yeah, I've decided to play this. I'm going to play it on the keyboard because it's unplayable on the, uh, on the, the joypad that I have. Oh, boy. Uh, we're just going to erase that game. <laughs> that bad, huh? No, it was fine. I just, uh, I'm starting a new game. Nice. Um, now, this is actually probably my second favorite game of all time. And I'm, I'm pretty good at it. Well, it's a good game. Yep. Um, God, what can you say about Zelda? It's... It's got the quintessential, you know, story. Yeah, it's, it's iconic for a reason. It's part of why I haven't been able to really get into any of the Zelda games since this one, is they all seem like they have really fucking weird storylines. I'm like, where's my storyline? Well, they didn't really have any continuity to speak of after this game, so... Well, no, not even it's an issue of continuity. It's also just like, you know, I, I would the whole The, the whole tone of it same. changed, I think. Yeah, just all kinds of crazy shit they decided to start doing. Really weird stuff. Which is good, you know, keeps the games fresh. Yeah. New people get into it all the time. But for me... It just, it just doesn't feel like a Zelda game. Anymore, for for me, this, this, is, this, is, this is Zelda. Right yeah. here. Boom. So I'm, I'm going to try to kind of speed run it. But not really. Um... You know, keep things moving along as best we can. But, uh, I'm not gonna really, because I'm not really the fastest. And the screen is so tiny, and I'm using these fucking keyboards. And there's just all kinds of. All kinds of stuff. <laughs> there's so much that's good about this. I love the graphics, you know? Yeah. If they start to kick my ass a little bit, it's, you know, I have a bunch of excuses for why that is happening. A bunch of excuses. And I will stick to them. Luckily, though, knowing this game as well as I do should help me out. So yeah, you can run by most of these guys. You know, when you're when you're in this game, you gotta think about resource management. And you think, why do I want to attack this guy? Does he have something I need? Did he? That guy did. Had to kill him to get the key to get through the store. Oh um, yeah. Another good general reason to fight and kill guys who are around is for money. Because you're gonna need money. Especially when you go to get those Zora's flippers. That's 500 fucking clams. That ain't no joke. <laughs> Down they go. I'm pretty good at this game. Yeah. I hope the music is coming out of the fucking... We're trying a new setup with a microphone. Hopefully everything is coming through well enough. Um, maybe if we could get it a little closer that'd be good, but... Mm. Oh well. I'm not gonna fuck with it right now. See this guy, you gotta kill this guy. And the doors won't open. Then you gotta go in here to get the key for that door. So you gotta kill this guy. Get the key and... Yes! Oh my god. The boomerang. The boomerang. The boomerang. It's, it's all about the boomerang, you guys. Seriously? You're gonna see me use this thing so much, especially once I get the magic boomerang from the fucking waterfall. Oh my god, what an indispensable tool. Love the boomerang. Hookshot's also really good, especially in the ice cavern, because you'll stand in place.
yeah. Nice little fight there. I like that little boss. He's fun. Let me talk to Zelda. Oh no, the wizard. He's evil. Yeah, I understand. It's pretty simple. Get some money. I'm gonna need that money later in the game. Wow. So Zelda follows you. It's pretty easy. This is the beginning, you know. It's not supposed to be hard. But, um... You know, you can fuck around in here and just have fun and kill dudes. They're bad guys. Well, it's nice if the game gives you a little room to explore like that. Oh, yeah, there's lots of rooms you can go to that I've kind of run past, you know. Well, it gets you familiar with the mechanics of the game, too. Yeah. The enemies, for someone who hasn't played it before. The enemies aren't tough. They're color-coded, too, if you haven't noticed. The blue ones are a little tougher than the green ones. And the red ones are a little tougher than the blue ones. So, it kind of makes sense, the colors. You're going to notice a lot of green, blue, and red in this, actually, in general. The, um, the pendants are green, and blue, and red. So there's kind of a motif or something. I really love the color palette in Link to the Past. And it was really nice to see that Skyward Sword was kind of picking up that palette. Um, the color scheme seemed really similar to me anyway. So I'm not sure how long I'm going to go for each run. Or how many, so to speak, how many segments this, this run is going to have. Because playing on the keyboard can kind of inflame my fucking tendonitis and shit. Whereas if I, uh, you know, I'm actually going to go ahead and light that up. Because I can't see for shit. And I only have three hearts right now, so it's not like I'm really strong or anything. My sword is really short. A level one sword, it's not easy. Better not kaboing into us because we're recording. Ah, oh, you're in the part where you have to, where you're in the dark. Yeah, this One is of really the parts hard because like the screen is so small. I'm actually leaning in now, so I can see better. Why, it's everything I know of this game so well. Yeah. That is really fucking tiny compared to having it on your TV screen. Yeah. Watching the video on YouTube probably couldn't tell, but his capture window is really fucking tiny right now. <laughs> I've talked about it before. Oh. Yep. I complain a lot about the conditions of my work. My view makes them somewhat well more bearable, huh? Uh, I don't know. 
Yeah. It's hard to say. I know what you mean. <laughs> So yeah, the sword's got some cool, you know, functions. I don't have to chase down and kill all these rats, but I want to make money off of them. And they do tend to have, see there's a blue, I've, I've gotten a red rupee off of them, that's 20 rupees. The green ones add up too. I don't know, it might, it might not be necessary, but uh... I want to make sure I have all the money I need later on. Because it's a hundred for... Oh, for one of the bottles. And uh, a whole bunch of money you gotta spend to increase your arrows and bombs. It's, you know, if you're going for a hundred percent, which I am, because I can get a hundred percent. I'm gonna do it. Oh, so if you pull the switch to the left, it'll spawn a whole bunch of snakes, and I usually like to do that for fun, but I decided I wouldn't do it for this run, just to save some time. It is kind of an exciting scene, though. Like, it's almost kind of cinematic. Like, oh no, you pulled the wrong one, look at all these snakes, oh shit! Fight for your life, they dropped all around us, oh my god, Indy! <laughs> A whole bunch of stuff here. That was beautiful. Oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, don't miss this treasure chest because it's your first heart. And you haul ass. Because we got shit to do. Alright, first things first. Head over to Kakariko Village. That's what I always do first. So there's quite a few things in the village that you need. Yeah, for the most part you can ignore a lot of soldiers, especially at this point in the game. You know, you only have the regular sword, and they can be a little scary. And you've only got a couple hearts, don't have any fairies. I say best thing to do is to avoid battles, but at the same time, make sure you don't get yourself caught between a rock and a hard place. That's, you don't want to be there. That's not a good place to be. Bombs. Bombs away. Gotta blow up a lot of fucking shit in this game. Luckily, unlike the original Zelda, places to bomb have holes. Pieces of heart. There's a bunch of them. You gotta find them all. And I will. I'll show you where they all are. If you watch. The information might be might not be organized as best as possible, but it's all going to be here. God, I don't know, I, you know, I've got a debate about whether or not I'll do some of those, like, funny things that I like to do when I get to the dark world and stuff, you know? Hmm. I'll probably do, I'll play, I'll probably play it normally, though. It's just, if you want to, like, to fuck around, you can do some tricky stuff in the dark world. Yeah. Well, considering it's a speedrun, you know. Technically, you potentially can help yourself get through the game faster, but... It's also really easy to get sidetracked and... Yeah. Fuck shit up. Okay, so how do you do this? You just kind of push into them, and they move. They all have 20 rupees each. Pretty good to have. <sighs> I 
I really love the music in this game too. You talk to this dude and he gives you your first bottle. Hold it up above your head, it's good for business. Okay, you see these chicks walking around in the street? Don't walk into them, because they will call the guards, because they, they think you're a bad guy. Because um, there's signs, actually, all around town that say, have your face on them, and they say, this is Link, he's kidnapped Zelda, he's a bad man. Alert the guards if you see him. But a couple of people in town, they know you, and they still believe in you. Thank God. Yeah, need all that stuff, good stuff, bombs, arrows. That's where I go anyway. You don't actually have to talk to this kid, but he'll mark the map for where you're supposed to go to find the grandpa. Um, oh, don't come in here. That's that's the place is worthless. You should never come here. This guy, you can actually outrun him later on. This this chick's friendly to you. Um, oh, there's fairies behind her wall, but I need to go get some more bottles. Sometimes remembering stuff takes a minute. Another bottle. And we can't get another one until we get the flippers. And for that, we need gauntlets and a shit ton of money. Uh, some of these guys, uh, they will tell you things that will clue you into stuff as to where to find some special items in the game, but obviously I don't need to talk to them because I know where everything is, you know, once it comes to me. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go up here. Yeah, this is a good place to go. Yeah, okay. We'll go up in here. Heading into the Lost Woods is a little dangerous. I won't jump. But there's a couple things in here we need. Uh, first thing is the magic mushrooms. Seriously gotta have magic mushrooms. Very, very important. Oh, this place sucks. Oh my god. Yeah, the, the freaking clouds are in the way. It's so tiny. Look out for these bandits. They are nothing but trouble for you. They will just fuck your shit up. They will steal your items, your precious items. There's a magic mushroom. Gotta have that. That's critical stuff. And over here is a piece of heart. Boom, just like that. Let me get the hell out of here. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, bitch. I'll fuck you up. Uh oh. Scary guys. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> Do not follow me. Okay, let's see. I'm so. Oh, by the way, we're. I, I've been told that what we have right now is called white cap but I can tell you this it's it's easily in like my top five uh, top ten potentially in the top five it's fucking crazy I'm trying to remember where the hell I'm supposed to go next I know there's another heart somewhere uh, I think down here is the next place to go, really. Yeah, I got enough bombs now.
switching items, I'm really fast at it when I'm playing on, you know, a Nintendo controller. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I'm still getting used to that here on this keyboard, so... Yeah, nine seconds. Can you do nine seconds? There we go. Pretty tight. Okay, so there's a couple of other pieces of heart I could go to get right now, but the thing is, is there's no real sense in doing that because I'm not going to get another full heart until I get some more items. Um... So it's not actually going to help me to get them right now. It's just like something I could do. So I'm going to not do that. Uh, I'm just going to head to the first dungeon pretty much. I'm going to swing around and do a couple of things i got to get done. But basically I'm going to head to the dungeon. I could go get the fucking ice rod. But that's kind of tough, especially at this level of the game. So what are we doing now? Uh, oh, we're going to hand off the magic mushroom to the witches. We're going past the graveyard here. Yeah. yeah, guys with red armor are very dangerous. Look out for them. Can't wait until I get the fucking flippers. I'm a big fan of the flippers. Oh, looks like my frame rate is off. Okay, yeah, those crabs, as you can tell, they walk faster from side to side than they do up and down. So your shield can deflect arrows. But you have to be not attacking and you have to be facing the guy correctly. Over here is the witches. So you have to hit these guys with the boomerang or with magic dust. So you actually have to select it and then hand it to her like that. Now, it'll check you. She says come back to the shop later for something good and you assume you're supposed to just come talk to her, but actually you come in here and this chick will have it. So, I'm not gonna buy any of that stuff because I'm saving up for other shit I gotta buy. You're gonna see me rely pretty heavily on fairies for the most part of this game. And actually, I'm going to try to avoid having any actual deaths, because I did it in my last playthrough. So I think I should be able to pull it off for you guys. Alright, we're going to go to the first dungeon. This area is so much fun. what's in here. Okay, that, that's a good thing to have, but I can't use that right now. <sighs> now, I think you don't even actually have to go talk to Sahasrala, but I'm going to do it anyway, just to be sure. guys, these statue guys are tough. I say avoid them. Mm. Yes. 
statue. Gosh, do I even know where I'm going? Because I don't think I do. Where are you anyway? Man, I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, I kicked his ass. What do you think about that statue guy? I'm not even a statue guy. I'm not afraid of you. What do you got? Nothing. So this is your first real dungeon, and it is pretty simple. It's not challenging. It's introducing you to all the basic elements, like dead ends. You gotta get used to the idea that you're gonna hit some dead ends, and you're gonna have to go back sometimes. And It's pretty. These are some pretty awesome Zelda dungeons, I can tell you. Now for this area, it's pretty quick to haul ass, because if you don't, you'll start to shoot these really big, big fucking balls. And those that are, are really hard, hard to, to dodge. dodge. Nice. Oh. So here we have a shit ton of money. So I really, I should just avoid enemies when mess when it's possible because I don't really need money. So I think I'm going to be able to get enough just from treasure chests. Now I always go this way but I think I think I should go the other way. I don't know. What do you think? Hmm. I think I'm supposed to go this way. Let's we'll see though. I'm also left. Fucking skeletons. I think they're skeletons. Yeah, they are. Holy hell, dude. I'm kind of tripping balls, is part of my problem here. I was gonna say, that didn't look like it was supposed to require as much effort as it looked like it did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be that hard. Oh, I wish I had the magic potion right now. I could get a free fairy. Shit. I hate those guys. Yeah. This is the good way to play. So we get this. Get the map. Go here. Go here. Go there. Ah, I saved that heart. That was smart. Items will not reappear in many instances. In many cases, I find these games to be kind of harder in the first few levels because I don't have all the items and stuff, you know? It's like I have a smaller margin of error. Oh. I don't have the key yet though, do I? No, I don't. Okay, you gotta haul ass here. Flip that switch and go through the door. 
Otherwise, those guys will hit you. Okay, I got the key. Things don't fucking give up, do they? <laughs> it's okay, I'm high above them now. Okay, and here's the room that's gonna have the key. As you can, I love this layout, and it's just ever so slightly challenging because you don't have a lot of space to work in here. You can kind of tell that you're gonna get the key here because you gotta get the key to go through that door. So, first thing you gotta do is you gotta kill all the enemies in this room, and then these. Fire fairies will unleash. Boom, just like that. And then you gotta run over that. Get that. Boom. Such a great dungeon. And then you come out here, kind of some place we've already been before. Really, really nice design. I don't think I can compliment them enough. This bow is pretty damn helpful. But not against these dudes. These dudes are invincible. You should just run away from them. This is probably a room full of gems. Yeah, you're gonna find in every dungeon there's a somewhat tricky room full of blue rupees. It's like the treasure room of the dungeon. And it's a good place to get that extra money you need to get stuff like the flippers and such and so forth. that one. It's the upper left one. I kind of did that just on instinct. Ah. These guys, they're so twitchy. Yeah, there we go. Brilliant. Pick up you. Smell the coffee. Okay, this boss is pretty easy. Oh! Still not quite the boss yet. I forgot. I'm gonna trick you here. Okay. You might as well clear out everything because you're not coming back through here. Here's the boss. He's pretty easy. You just stand here, wait for him to start moving, and you just start firing. Just boom, 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 boom. Keep launching the arrows. Very, very easy. Oh, he doesn't usually last this long. He jumps where you are, you run over and slash him. 
No trouble. Uh, some people like to use the whirl slash. I try to keep it simple. Which means you do have to hit him more times, but look at that. I didn't even get hit. And that's how you beat the first dungeon in The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. We're going to finish up the video for now because I don't even know how long this has gone on. Um, and, uh, a while. Yeah, call it good. Yeah.